It's me again, I wow your frustrated accent guru. So last time I learned how to converse in English in Ilongo accent. So it was a remarkable and a fanciful session indeed. And today we will be learning new accent and it is one of my favorites when I was in high school and still a favorite until now. And that would be the British accent. So let's do it as lightly as possible in a Filipino way. Before moving on, let's have few mouth and tongue exercise. First, cover your mouth and do the O and E movement. Okay, great. Next, wiggle your tongue. Nice. Okay, the pretty most basic technique on how to produce a British accent is that to make your tongue lazy. Yes, you heard it right. Make your tongue lazy most of the time. But the question is, how to make your tongue lazy? Just nail your tongue on your mouth floor? Not literally to nail with this, but let it stay basically at the bottom of your mouth and pretend that there is something on top of your tongue or you can have some sweets, candy to prevent your tongue from moving. Simple technique, yet pretty much effective. Now, are you ready to roll? I bet you are. First tip. In order to sound a bit British, let's begin by practicing our R sound. In neutral accent, R is pronounced as R. A simple trick to make it sound British is to pronounce an A uh instead of R. Okay, let's try the following words. I will read it first in neutral accent, then in British accent. Water. Color. Mirror. Paper. Taller. To produce a British accent, let's apply the first tip. Water. Color. Mirror. Paper. Taller. Again. Water. Color. Mirror. Paper. Taller. Good job. Tip number two. Pronounce the letter U as U. Yes, U. Let's have the following words. Stupid student and judy we will apply rule number one and rule number two stupid student judy again stupid student judy try to practice that at home tip number three pronouncing t as t or simply drop it the following words are judy pretty peter Mittens and water. Okay, let's try the full T sound. That is Juti Pretty Pita Mittens Water. The next method is by doing a glutal stop. It is produced by obstructing airflow in the vocal tract or literally dropping, eliminating, or emitting your T. It sounds like this Juti Pretty Pee, mittens, wa, again, juee, pree, pee, mittens, wa. It's a bit tricky though, but I know as time goes on, we'll just get used to it. Number four, watch videos and listen very carefully on how they talk and take note of their intonation. Let's watch this. Holy cricket! You're Harry Potter. I'm Hermione Granger, and. You are? Um, Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You two better change into robes. I expect we'll be arriving soon. Oh, you want to get a little bit more South London? Oh, yeah? I like that. You want to take her down here and drop some T's and D's. And so now we've kind of found a bit of a, a middle ground where yeah, Watson yeah, is still ground. edgy great. Middle ground. You'd hit some T's, some D's. Can but I just hear you say lovely? Because lovely. they say it all the time. What? Lovely? Lovely. Lovely. You look quite lovely, lovely today. Quite... Yeah, the thing I find most tricky is when people don't recognize you particularly but half recognize you you know it's that strange thing where they go <laughs> is that, and of course that means they stare they stare a lot now it's our turn to execute what we have learned today let's try the storytelling method so i will read to you the story and applying the different tips we have learned today the title of our story is an old man lived in the village an old man lived in a village he was one of the most unfortunate people in the world. The whole village was tired of him. He was always gloomy. He constantly complained and was always in a bad mood. 
The longer he lived, the more bitter he becoming and the more poisonous were his words. People avoided him because his misfortune became contagious. It was even more unnatural and insulting to be happy next to him. He created a feeling of unhappiness in others. But one day, when he turned 8 years old, an incredible thing happened. Instantly, everyone started hearing the rumor. An old man is happy today. He doesn't complain about anything. Smiles and even his face freshened up. The whole village gathered together. The old man was asked, What happened to you? Nothing special. 80 years I've been chasing happiness and it was useless. And then I decided to live without happiness and just enjoy life. That's why I'm happy now, said the old man. The moral of the story is this. Don't change happiness, just enjoy your life. There you have it folks, I hope you learned something in today's video. In order for us to copy the accent perfectly, we need a lot of practice. If you have any suggestions, comment, reaction, drop a message below. If you are not yet connected with me, please do consider subscribing to my channel for you to be updated in my next upload. It's me, Iwo. Thank you for tuning in to Iwo TV.